Hi Cancer, this is your March 28th through April 3rd weekly tarot reading. I do five separate spreads in my weekly readings. We'll have a spread on new love, a separate spread on love in an existing relationship or marriage. I'll do an X spread. We'll talk about your work, your business and your finances and we'll see what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, subscribe and share this video to support this channel. This first spread is on new love this week. We have the Six of Cups clarified by the page of cups, we have the ten of cups, we have the nine of cups clarified by the two of cups. <laughs> In the potential outcome we have the ten of pentacles with the ace of pentacles and uh, the king of pentacles and we also have the knight of pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn. Well Cancer, this is a done deal. You know, you're gonna marry this person. Congratulations. <laughs> this person is your soulmate. This person is rock solid. They're coming in with a very serious intention right away from the very beginning. What I noticed right away about this uh, spread, about this reading, is that we got all cups on the left. Every single card on the left is a cups card. And every single card on the right with the uh, card on the bottom of the deck is an earth sign. and A pentacle card, right? So it's kind of like you're getting together. I'm not saying you're going to compromise, but it's like you're it's like a perfect hybrid, right? You'll be able to coexist, you'll be able to share love, you'll be on the same page, and it's like you are you know, two whole people make a whole relationship or marriage. And that's exactly what's happening here. Cuz you bring cups to the table, they bring pentacles to the table, um, figuratively speaking, right? And it's just going to work. It's just going to work. It's going to be a beautiful, solid, very loving commitment between the two of you. The first card I came out is the Six of Cups. Um, this is a card of somebody from your past, potentially. It's also a soulmate card, but it doesn't feel like it's your ex, to be honest with you. It could be somebody you already know. could be somebody from your childhood, somebody you went to school with, somebody whom you used to be friends with, you know, whatever. It could be someone like that. But the Six of Cups is also a soulmate card. The Two of Cups in the middle, clarifying the Nine of Cups, is also a soulmate card. The Six of Cups is clarified by the Page of Cups, so this is uh, them reaching out to you, right? Uh, the Page of Cups, to me personally, is the nicest page <laughs> out of all four pages. I don't mean to insult the other pages, but this is them just being super nice to you. You know, because uh, they're coming in with love right away from in the beginning. Um, this is them asking you out, buying you a bouquet of flowers, writing you a poem, um, taking you out to dinner, what have you. And it's just going to take off like a rocket. It's The next card that came out, the very next card that came out is the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups is a commitment or marriage card and it's also a card of... Um, you know, this is the happily ever after card. That's what I'm trying to say. It's a family card, so if having children is still an option for you, the two of you can definitely have children together. So right from the beginning, we get this Ten of Cups. Right, then we also have the Nine of Cups, clarified by the Two of Cups. The Nine of Cups is a card of a wish come true. It's also a card of uh, personal satisfaction and fulfillment. And the Two of Cups, like I said, it's also it's a, a soulmate card, just like the Six of Cups. The Two of Cups is actually one of the best cards you can potentially get for a connection, for a love connection. It's a card of uh, unconditional love. It's a card of two people on the same page, two people in love with each other. Right? The Knight of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck, this is what this person brings to the table. Right? Stability, um, financial abundance, um, they are, it's, out of all four Knights, the Knight of Pentacles is the most stable, the most serious, the most grounded, the, the most long-term Knight. Right? And uh, the King of Pentacles right next to the deck is the person you're dealing with, most likely an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Um, the Ace of Pentacles in the middle of that potential outcome is very similar to the Knight of Pentacles energy. You see how the Knight of Pentacles is holding out a pentacle? And that's exactly the pentacle we see in the Ace of Pentacles. It's like we're zooming in on that, right? And uh, the Ace of Pentacles is a proposal in this case. Definitely a proposal, right? Um, yeah, the Ace of Pentacles always comes from somebody who is ready to start a family, somebody who is ready to settle down. The Ten of Pentacles, the first card in the uh, potential outcome, yeah, we're going backwards, <laughs> is similar to the Ten of Cups, but this card is, um, this card takes care of practicality. This is a very serious, very grounded, very long-term type of a deal. This is when people buy real estate together, they grow old together, have children together, if that is still an option for them. 
right? So you're getting the best of both worlds with the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles, right? It's like you're joining forces. It's like you're, it's a hybrid. It's a very loving, but at the same time, really stable, grounded hybrid of both of your energies. You're a water sign. They're most likely an earth sign. And uh, you're just coming together in love with the Two of Cups and the Six of Cups. Wow. And... Um, it's like nobody's wasting any time here. Nobody's, I don't see any really fast moving energies, but in this case, what this probably means, it's like you won't even need to move at any pace because it's going to be really obvious from the very beginning where this is heading. If this is somebody you already know, perhaps you always wanted to be with this person, but you just couldn't. They always wanted to be with you, but they just couldn't for whatever reason, for whatever circumstances. So now when the two of you are finally coming together, it's going to be clear as day that uh, you're meant to be together and you're definitely moving towards a commitment. All right? Really happy for you, Cancer. Congratulations. Cancer, if you are already married or if you're in a relationship, this spread is for you. We have the Ace of Cups, we have Temperance, uh, we have the Nine of Cups, uh, we have the Harfant on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Taurus or a Sagittarius, but most likely you're dealing with uh, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your significant other, whatever their zodiac sign is. A very nice spread, to be honest with you, Cancer. If you just recently got into a fight, you'll be bearing the hatchet. If they never told you they love you, they'll tell you they love you for the first time. Um, if you've been feeling kind of, if you've been patiently waiting for them to do something for you, something nice, they'll do something nice for you. <laughs> um, it's, it's, it's amazing what's happening here. The Ace of Cups is a love offer or a love confession where they expressing them th their love towards you. Temperance in the middle is the personal Sagittarius card or Temperance is all about burying the hatchet, um, rekindling. If you got into a fight, this is a healing card, right? And uh, Temperance is also a card of somebody patiently waiting. This is a card of patience. So if you've been patiently waiting for them to confess their love to you or to... Uh, you know, make you other offers, <laughs> then uh, it's they're going to do it this week. The Nine of Cups right next to the deck, this is a card of a wish come true, and it's also a card of personal satisfaction and fulfillment, so you'll definitely be happy about what's happening here. And uh, the Hierophant on the bottom of the deck, this is a card of a committed relationship or marriage, or it's a Taurus card. So, yeah, I like it. So you can always leave me a comment let me know how exactly it plays out, but I see a couple of those scenarios that I just outlined. It's a good spread, you know, very loving type of deal. All right, cool. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Cancer, uh, this week. Keep in mind, it could be somebody from a couple of months ago, a year ago, or a couple of years ago, so it doesn't have to be the most recent X. We have the Five of Swords, we have the Eight of Cups, clarified by Judgment. We have the Seven of Swords, clarified by the High Priestess. And we also have the Queen of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with pretty much any zodiac sign. Um, whoever comes back from the past this week, Cancer, this person is not planning to stick around. Nope. They actually already plan to move on from you. I don't know exactly what's going on inside this person's head, but I do see this person not staying with you for much longer. Okay, so the Queen of Cups on the bottom of the deck, that would be you. Um, you know, I don't even know if I want to talk about it. <laughs> it's a waste of time. Um, so let's talk about the last two cards. The Seven of Swords, clarified by the High Priestess. Those were the two last cards that came out. And this is what lays ahead if you give them a second chance. The Seven of Swords, this is them running away from you, cheating on you, doing all the bad things behind your back. Most likely just moving on, running away from you. And the High Priestess clarifying it, this is a card of something hidden, something you are not aware of, but this is what they are already aware of, because that's what they're planning to do anyway, right? So yeah, they're not going to stick around. Judgment in the middle is a card of somebody coming back from the past. So don't even bother with this person, whatever their zodiac sign is, alright? Cool. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, uh, Cancer. This week we have the Page of Cups, we have the Star, we have the Nine of Wands clarified by the Four of Cups, and uh, we also have the World on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. Somebody's going to make you an offer, but you're going to turn it down. 
okay? It could be an offer to go out after work for a happy hour with your co-workers um, or it could be somebody trying to bury the hatchet with you, you know, compensate you for something. Um, or perhaps somebody's trying to get you out so they could talk to you about a new job offer, but uh, you're all set. Either way, this is a rejection spread, right? So the Page of Cups, the first guy that came out, this is an offer to, you know, go out with your co-workers after work, or somebody wants to talk to you about something, somebody wants to compensate you or do something nice for you to bury the hatchet if that's if the two of you got into some sort of an argument before the star in the middle is the personal Aquarius card you can be dealing with an Aquarius the star could also be a card of healing and uh, the star could also be some sort of a wish come true or a dream so perhaps you are working on something at at work <laughs> and uh, you want to make sure it's finished you want to make sure it's finished correctly and uh, you're, you don't want to go to that happy hour with your friends right in this scenario. Um, the Nine of Wands clarified by the Four of Cups right next to the deck. This is you saying no to this offer and uh, the world on the bottom of the deck all the way to your right. It could be um, a place someplace remote, right? So perhaps your co-workers want to go to uh, an establishment that's not local to your place or if this is somebody trying to bury the hatchet with you, you're saying no and you're pretty much putting it to rest because you don't want to deal with this person, you don't trust them anymore. All right, cool. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen, Cancer, this week. We have the Three of Wands, clarified by the Two of Wands. We have the Lovers. We have the Magician, clarified by the Page of Wands. And we also have the Six of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Gemini or, I guess, a Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, this, I think, only um, related to you indirectly. I think this is somebody else. And what you're not expecting is uh, what this person is about to do. It could be somebody you work with, it could be um, a friend of yours, a relative, what have you. It kind of feels like this person could be a fire sign, you know, or a Gemini, or any zodiac sign. They've made up their mind, they made a decision, they chose to do something, to take some sort of action. For example, if this is somebody you work with, um, you will learn that this person decided to quit their 9 to 5 and start their own job. Right? Or perhaps this person decided to quit this job and start another job. Uh, but uh, this is just an example. You, what you will learn is this person, like I said, they're going to make like a final decision to do something, to start something, to take action towards something. And uh, they're going to succeed at that. Right? So um, the three of ones clarified by the two of ones all the way to your left. Um, the Two of Wands is a card of somebody who is trying to make a decision, making a choice. The Lovers is also a card of a choice. And uh, the Three of Wands is a card of somebody who made up their mind, so somebody who made a choice. Right? Then the Magician, clarified by the Page of Wands, this, and uh, actually the Six of Wands, this is what they're doing. The Magician is them taking matters into their own hands. Some of them, for some of you, it's somebody who is quitting a job and starting their own business, or quitting this job and starting another job. Right, uh, this is a very active card, the Magician is, right? This is a card of action. And uh, the Page of Wands clarifying it is a message. Perhaps this person will send out a message before they quit their job saying, so long people, I'm starting my own business or I'm starting a new job. Um, or perhaps somebody else will message you and let you know what this person is doing, what they decided to do. And the six of ones on the bottom of the deck, this is a card of victory, success and recognition. So whatever this person is deciding to do, they'll be successful at that. Alright, so yeah, that's what you're not expecting. And that's what I got for you, Cancer, for this reading. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And other than that, Cancer, have an amazing week. And there you have it. This was your tarot reading for this time period. I hope it resonated with you and helps you live a better life one way or the other. Thank you for watching, sharing and subscribing.